Ocelot, meaning Jaguar, in Aztec culture. The Jaguar, known for its strength and stealth, was highly revered by the Aztecs and associated with power and divinity. The Jaguar is also associated with the god Tezcalipoca. Tezcalipoca is the god of the night sky, ancestral memories, and of time. He is associated with change brought by conflict. In Aztec culture, Ocelot is associated with power, valor, and recklessness in dangerous situations. So that's the overlying theme of this new character. Today, we're gonna to take a look at Ocelot's moves, what he's mainly good for, whether that's 4v4 or duels, and what feats you should be using with this hero. As you can see, we have the Huntsman Spirit. It's a passive, become a spirit upon dying, slowly returning to life. Spirits can move undetected, but cannot attack. This is a brand new type of ability they've added for this hero. Probably one of the most unique abilities they've ever added in For Honor, honestly. And for the others, we have Tireless, and we have Iron Lungs. You guys probably already know what those do. Then we have Binge will mark it's a passive enemies that kill you are marked for a short time their location is revealed and they can take extra damage this is pretty interesting for one i want to know if does it work even after an execution which i'm assuming it does since this doesn't mention anything about that next on this tier we have executioner's respite you know this one gives you a little bit more health after you execute somebody this is a vanilla feat and then we have the bear trap pretty simple you can lay a trap capture people god I always got something hard to say bro i gotta look this up and next we have quetzalcoatl's bless this is a passive so killing enemies temporarily grants extra attack damage and increases speed. In my opinion, this is a very good momentum feat. Once you got your feats going, you know, you got a couple kills in. This feat really helps you keep that momentum going by giving you that extra attack damage and speed. Next, we have Protected Revive. Really good perk when you need to revive somebody in a lot of chaos. And then we have Second Wind. This is definitely a vanilla feat. When you just need more health, it's always good to have. Lastly, for Tier 4, we have Trapper's Reach. Throw a spear to damage and bleed foes, pulling them into Guard Break. Only usable in Guard Mode. I feel like the legend is going to be ridiculous with this feat. Then we got Regenerate and Stalwart Banner. All right, let's get into the executions. We got the New World Greetings. Woo! Let's look at it again. Next, we got the Lethal Pounce. Uh, that's pretty intense. Pretty long execution, too. Next, we have the Blow Dart Barrage. It's 10k, and you can get it for any hero. We also got Skewered Prey. Oh, no. We got the Emotes. Pretty simple. Tescalapoca's favor, pretty simple. We got battle ready. Gotta love the simple ones. Spear spin. And for the signature, we got Stalker's Perch. And the effect that released with this hero is the Majestic Jungle. It's a Jaguar. Let's take a look at Ocelot's moveset. Let's start with his light attacks as always. When you throw a light attack, if it's not blocked, you can follow it up with a second quick light attack. The first one does 12, the second one does 10 damage. As you can see, it follows up super quick. You can also throw a light and heavy attack to make it go into an infinite chain. So light, heavy, light, heavy. You can do this as long as you want. But another ability that this character has is the ability to do an unblockable right after any attack by pressing X. Throw a heavy attack, X. I can throw a light attack, press X. And what's so great about this is that I can cancel the X ability. So throw a heavy attack, X, cancel. You can do this after any landed attack. And when throwing basic heavies, you can throw a heavy attack, throw another one and it'll be unblockable. An interesting ability that Ocelot has is the Hunter Stance. You can go into Hunter Stance by holding down on the analog stick, on the right analog stick, and then you can go into the Hunter Snare by pressing the heavy attack button. You go into a heavy attack with initial 16 damage and then it follows up with an eight damage. This is a really nice move if you can land it. We also have a bash, you have to dodge forward, press X. You can follow up with an attack after this. Of course, you could chain this into another attack, so. Throw it. Next, we're gonna go into the zone. You do the zone attack by pressing the heavy attack and a light attack button at the same time. As you can see, Ocelot's zone is uninterruptible. And as you can see, if you follow up with a second zone, he'll follow up in a different direction, being uninterruptible. Ocelot also has an unlocked attack. Nothing too special. Ocelot also has dodge light attacks. You can also follow up with another light attack when it comes to this ability. Next, we have Ocelot's dodge light attacks. As you can see, if you dodge left, you can do a light attack and follow up with a second one. And you can do this in pretty much any direction. 
just be careful because that second light attack can get parried. So, that's it for Ocelot. If you learned anything, let me know by hitting that like button. With all that being said, I'll see you in the next video.